I just wanted to say really quick before this video starts that yes, there are definitely more Florida videos coming, but I'm getting so backed up with Montana stuff that I'm going to need like several terabytes <laughs> of storage information if I don't start getting through these soon. So enjoy this one and probably next one will be a Florida video. <laughs> oh, and this is a Herkimer, by the way. Alrighty, we are out along the Yellowstone River. Whew, what are you? Nothing. Looking for agates and whatnot. Trying to get as much in as I can because once those mountains start thawing. <laughs> the, okay, that's a good example. That entire island right there will be completely underwater. It comes up a lot and we've been getting a lot of snow this year so it's not gonna be yeah <laughs> um already checked the little patch that i had access to and found some nice agates a few nice pieces of petrified wood oh hello floyd and some jasper so we're gonna go further up and see what we can't find and in a little bit we'll be going to a spot to look for some fossils. Alright, we are at the other spot looking for fossils now. This lake actually gets drained every year so a ridiculous amount of gravel is exposed and there are fossils inside of that gravel and specifically what I'm looking for are these which are baculites which you will be amazed at how pretty these are once they get cleaned off and polished. I already found a really big one, but I put it back in the car already. So, I guess we'll just walk around and see what we can come up with. So, two things. Look at this beautiful agate I found. A and B. Dog! <laughs> a very sweet farm dog has come to hang out with us. She walked him all the way back to his house and he decided that no, they're friends now, so. Now our dogs are trying to play with him. Boy, boy, He's very sweet. He's a very nice dog. <laughs> and adorable. His name is Grizz. <laughs> I met the farmer and everything. He won't stay. <laughs> uh, there is a lot of really good stuff. In the scrabble though, there's jasper, agate, petrified wood, fossils. There's a baculite. <laughs> oh, there's one. See it? Yeah. Ooh, it's got some good sutures. This is gonna be really pretty. Probably doesn't look like it now, but trust me. Have the face. Oh, I hear him up there. Oh, there's some petrified wood. Oh, more agates and petrified wood. Thank you, darling. Oh, there's a nice piece of petrified wood. Is this lay agate? It is Montana agate. We're just hoping that if we let the dog hang out with us long enough, he'll get bored and go home. We took him to the owner's house, and it turned out to be his son's dog, ooh, Petrified Wood, who lives a little bit down the road, and <laughs> when asked, he just said, yeah, he wanders. <laughs> try to get him to get him to stay and he absolutely would not stay so he followed us back to <laughs> hang out with us so I'm sure he'll get bored at some point and go back he's up on the road now sweet dog though <laughs> 
I warned her not to stop, and it's not in this area. You don't have to worry about all oh, those dogs are going to be mean. They're farm dogs. It's no. It's quite the opposite. They're so sweet that if you stop and talk to them, <laughs> you're gonna, they're going to be you know kind of glued to you for however long you're in their area. Ooh, there's a baculite right there. Oh my goodness. Hi, face. Hi, buddy. <laughs> Big sweetheart. Well, she made a friend, I'd say. Look at that smile. <laughs> we learned his name is Grizz. <laughs> oh, that makes me laugh. He is so cute. Hi, Grizz. What are you doing? Oh, Grizz, no, no. <laughs> what you doing, kiddo? Hi, buddy. Come here. Can you look at the camera? Hi, Hi. face. Hi. Oh, you're a big sweetie. Oh. Hi, buddy. Should we try to take you home one more time? Yeah. And maybe not walk because my legs are killing me? <laughs> <sighs> yeah, if you want, I can take the dogs down here and then you can see if he'll get in the car with you. Well, oh, hi, face. At this point, I don't know where he won't go with me. Yeah, pretty That's much. Problem. I need the keys. I know. Well, goodbye, Grizz. It was wonderful to get to meet you. You are so sweet. Oh, look at that face. <laughs> hi, buddy. I had to stop so I could zoom in on this one. Oh, hello, Floyd. Look at the sutures on this guy. It is going to be really pretty. Very cool. Also, I'll add that the the pup was successfully taken back home. I held on to the dog so she could <laughs> get him in the car and take him back to his house. How cool is this little piece of petrified wood? It's like the end of a stick. I love it. If you look, you can see a little stick looking thing. And then there's two, oh, three cavities from where one was. I can actually see one still in there right here and right here. Ooh, and right here. And I say stick looking thing, but that's actually kind of funny accurate now that I think about it because. Oh, ooh, another one. That's a nice one. Because um, baculite actually transfer, er, translates directly to. Walking stick rock. Oh, that's a pretty little agate. Gorgeous. Yeah, so I love this spot. There's a little bit of everything over here. Oh, petrified wood. But all right, back to it. Guess I could put this somewhere out in the open so I can just come get it on my walk back through and I don't have to carry it around the whole time. Ooh. Okay, that will be a good example. Let me stop this for a second. Here's a good example of why I keep saying you won't recognize them once they're polished, because they may just look kind of dull, but the moment you sand and polish them, they have this beautiful pearl layer. You can see that bright green right there. If I had some water, I'd get it wet so you can really see it, but that one is going to be very pretty, and it looks like it has sutures, so perfect. That is exact... Ooh! <laughs> Let me grab this. That's a good one too. Look at how majestic that dog is. I love him so much. He just sits and watches out over his surroundings. He's so stoic. It cracks me up. Hi, Sai. Floyd's the busybody. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. He's the one who walks around doing dog stuff, but Sai over there just finds a good spot, sits down, and just marvels at his surroundings. <laughs> He's a good boy. There's a pair of fossilized clam shells in this piece right here. That is really cool. Alright, that's going to do it for today. So I will pull everything out when we get to the shop so we can kind of go through everything and I'll show you 
befores and afters of some of the baculites. All right, here are all of the nicest pieces. I still have to go through <clears throat> the stuff that's in the, uh, the backpack, but those are all conglomerates like this that I have to break open to get into, but we got some good stuff. Here, let me get some close-ups. Here's one that has some really nice sutures. Those are gonna come out really well once it gets polished. Um, Here's another one that has some really good sutures. This one, the nacre layer is really thin, so I think I'll sacrifice it on this one. Because it seems to be pretty bleached. Whereas this one, I'm actually going to get wet really quick. One second. You can see why it's always an internal struggle for me, because they can be absolutely beautiful. And this one is totally getting polished. It is not gonna be like here, for example. On this one, I'll actually sand off this layer, this shell layer, so that it can show off the sutures. But on this one, it will just go straight to polish so it brings out the color. Because if you look, this one actually doesn't have sutures, so that's nice that I don't have to make that call. <laughs> and to sand these, I would recommend using a flap sander, because drums can actually get a little too deep, whereas the flap sander will kind of follow the natural contour is a bit better, so I'll do one really fast as an example. And here it is now. The sutures just look fantastic. And I'll keep going around the rest of the entire piece and the rest will pop out as well. Here I did another one because I thought it would make a great example. So here's before, here's after. And I have a few that are um, replaced by calcite, and those look even cooler because it'll be dark brown and then almost opaque, or not opaque, translucent veins of um, yellow going through. Here I might have one that I've already done laying around somewhere. I'll find it really quick. Here it is. I have an even nicer one in my display case, but you can see what I mean. There, you can really see just how translucent some of those pockets are. It looks absolutely fantastic. Alright, and as far as these pieces go, to highlight the color, pretty much all we're going to do is sand it with 2000 grit sandpaper. So I will sand those up and come back once they're finished. All right, here's that first one I showed. Absolutely gorgeous. So much color in this one. Just metallic pearl. All right, well, that's probably going to do it for this one. I still have a lot more of these to go through and still organize all of the agates and jasper that but in the near future, I'll be making a video showing how to get them out of their matrix. I have a couple set aside here. If you look at this one, you can see a big one right here. 
a little one right there, another one in the bottom. So I'll make sure to make a video very soon showing how to get those out of there safely. So feel free to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe for more content. And I know I actually never mentioned this on one of my videos before, but feel free to follow me on Facebook also, as I am always posting cool rock, fossil, and shell related stuff over there. So, till the next time.